Lubav Ezria is this year's Leadership Award winner. Every single day of my life, um, I wake up and the first thought that enters my mind is how can I make it better? And um, I think that's what drives me. That's what drives me every single day to, to do my best, to hopefully inspire others. Um, you know, in fashion industry, each day is never the same. You know, we're always learning, evolving, changing, planning. So. I think, how can I make it better? Chief Creative Officer of BCBG Max Azria Group, she leads a team of nearly 200 designers, pattern makers and associates, and along with her husband Max Azria, oversees three global brands, BCBG Max Azria, Max Azria, and Hervé Leger. One of the most inspiring person in my life is my husband Max. He's been my idol, he's been, you know, my best friend, um, the love of my life, and definitely in business, a mentor. Born in the Ukraine, Lubov danced with the youth division of the world-renowned Bolshoi Ballet. I think what I take uh, from my training as a ballerina is discipline. I think when you're a dancer, you're very disciplined. and. Um, that in business is extremely important. That means consistency, always reaching your best. Today, under Lubov's leadership, BCBG is synonymous with red carpet glamour and impeccable craftsmanship. This leadership award means a lot to me. It's, um, it means that I'm being recognized by my peers. It's a very exciting moment in my life. I think because I'm a mother, a business owner, a teacher, <laughs> You know, it's all the things that any woman can do. Perhaps I do it differently than other people. And um, I think I would be inspirational to other people because I'm always positive and always wanting to make things better and always looking for a brighter day. Congratulations, Lubov Ezria, Leadership Award winner. This year's Legacy Award winner is Frida Rappaport Kaplan, otherwise known as the Queen of Kiwi. The Legacy Award means to me, now that I'm 88, that I've been around a long time, but I've been participated in NABO for many, many years. As founder and chairman of the board of Frida's Incorporated, the first woman-owned and operated wholesale produce company in the U.S., she was responsible for introducing the exotic fruit to the United States. Frida's as a company has changed the way America eats and has introduced them to the importance of fresh fruits and vegetables and experimenting with exotic fruits and vegetables like kiwi fruit and spaghetti squash, sugar snap peas and habanero chilies. These are the things that will make food even more exciting and more healthful. A pioneer in the male-dominated produce business, she was the first recipient of the Harriet Alger Award from Working Women magazine, and in 2012 marks her 50th fruitful year in the business. NABO has been a tremendous support to me because how it has trained my daughter, Karen Kaplan. Her talents rose when she became a vice president and then a president of NABO many years ago, so that has been a wonderful contribution to Frida's Incorporated. She's thrilled her granddaughter has joined the business, making her the third generation of Kaplan women at Frida's Incorporated. My granddaughter joining us has been one of the most exciting things. I thought I was excited when my daughter, Karen, who is now president and Jackie was vice president, to have Alex, who we used to drag around with us when she was two years old, through all the NABO meetings now a part of Frida's. The whole mode of Frida's is always to operate with an open door, so we're always welcoming new people and encouraging young people to participate in organizations like NABO. Congratulations, Frida Rappaport Kaplan, Legacy Award winner. The 2012's Rising Star of the Year is Cookie Johnson, 
founder and co-owner of CJ by Cookie Johnson. I um, created a gene that would fit a woman with a curve. And so it's, it's something that's different and it's something that uh, addresses most of our women, I think, most of the women in the world, because most of us have a curve. And um, so the demogra demographic is a little bigger than what the other premium denims target. Hailing from Rocket City, Alabama, home of NASA's space camp, Cookie graduated from Michigan State University, went to work in the fashion industry, quickly working her way up to buyer. After marrying Irvin Magic Johnson and raising a family, Cookie came out of retirement to create a line of premium denim for women with curves. The results were nothing short of spectacular. The reason I decided to do this company is because I went out looking for a pair of jeans and I could not find a pair to fit my body, my body type. You know, they, they were never, it was never enough room in the thighs, it was never enough room in the hips. Um, and, and no matter how much weight I lost, it's just, uh, it's, it's about a, a, a shape. You know, it's about, like you could be a size four and still have a shape where you have, you know, a bottom, you have, you could be athletic and have thighs and you can't fit into these jeans because they're designed for that wafy body type. Uh, and so watching women walk around and I can tell that they, you know, didn't, couldn't, wasn't able to participate in this whole lifestyle denim world that, that has, you know, evolved in the past, what, 15 years um, and it, it continues on. I just didn't think it was fair. Today, along with being a successful businesswoman, Cookie is a philanthropist, children's advocate, and spokesperson for women's health. One thing that inspires me is, is God. And God, I, I use God to give me strength and he helps to give me direction to go forth. And usually if I put him first, then all other things fall into place. And um, for those of you out there, um, just find something that you're passionate about. Um, and if you're passionate about it, you, it'll cause you to work hard. And, and if you believe and if you act, you know, then believe and act on your miracle like you already have it. And if, you, you know, if your philosophy is that way, then you will eventually get that miracle. And it'll be bigger than anything you ever imagined. Congratulations, Cookie Johnson, rising star of the year. Luisa Acosta Franco is this year's Trailblazer Award winner. It's an incredible honor uh, to be getting the Trailblazer Award from an organization like NAVO. Not only have they done just such a tremendous job with inspiring women business owners, but just as inspiring women in general. So for me, it's a privilege and an honor. Originally from Guadalajara, Mexico, Luisa is the Vice President of Multicultural Marketing at Farmers Insurance Group making her the first Latina to serve as an officer at the company. At Farmers, I have the privilege of working with our 15,000 agents across the country, and the way that I've helped open new doors for them is through the programs that I've developed along with our team at Farmers for those folks that want to serve the multicultural markets. And we've developed resources, tools, um, and not only helping them become good insurance agents, but becoming great business owners. She heads up implementation of marketing strategies directed toward Hispanic and Asian consumers. She also oversees the development of in-language materials for agency and consumer distribution. Corporate America um, can be very difficult, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> Especially, you know, it's, it's been a man's world. No offense to the gentleman, but it has. And I think more than anything, you have to surround yourself with people that are positive, people that believe in you. She was named one of the top 100 Hispanic influentials in the U.S. by Hispanic Business Magazine and was awarded Corporate Leader of the Year by the National Latina Business Women's Association. My two biggest inspirations have actually been my mom and dad. You know, you have those mentors along the way. Um, but there's no one like your parents to really forge and instill the values. And unfortunately, I lost my dad this year. Um, but I learned so much from him and how to be a very strong woman and how to stand my ground and really um, stand up for what I believe in. And so um, I'm going to carry that through with my children. Um, but besides my parents, I've been blessed to have internal mentors within the company that I work for, as well as external, uh, and even some of the women at NABO. Luisa Acosta Franco 
You are a trailblazer indeed. This year's Hall of Fame inductee is Patricia Watts, President and CEO of FCI Management Consultants. Oh, I am so excited to be a part of such uh, esteemed uh, entrepreneurial women. I, I'm excited and humbled that NABO would induct me into their Hall of Fame. And uh, it's just an immense sense of pride for me to feel that I have earned this honor. An energy and utility consulting company, FCI is also a certified woman-owned minority corporation with headquarters in Long Beach, California and additional offices in San Diego and New York. A graduate of the Tuck School of Business at Dartmouth College, Patricia spent 24 years honing her electric utility industry knowledge at Southern California Edison, where she held a variety of management positions. I hope every day the way I carry myself the way I conduct my business and how I represent my business is an inspiration to other women. Uh, it's not easy, but uh, it's not impossible. And so I hope that I can show them that the courage to dream big and to live and go after their dreams. I hope that's what I can do for other women. She is also a multi-award winner and was a semi-finalist for the prestigious Ernst & Young Entrepreneur of the Year Award in 2011. I think the most important uh, thing that Novel has done for me is show me very uh, inspirational women who have been successful in their businesses and given a forum for which we can share uh, some of our business challenges and opportunities. She is committed to her community and serves on several boards both in the city of Los Angeles and the state of California. If you have a dream and you have a vision, don't be afraid of it. To step out on faith, and believe in yourself, and the success will be there. Congratulations, Patricia Watts, this year's Hall of Fame inductee. Innovator of the Year Award goes to Julie Schoenfeld, CEO of Perfect Market Incorporated, a company that helps traditional publishers compete in a digital world. What innovation means to me is, is uh, something that happens a lot when you create businesses where you sort of feel like your back is against the wall and you don't know what to do and all of a sudden you get an inspiration and you find a door and so it's just coming up with an answer coming up with uh, it, it's not one thing it's many things it's just being able to say okay if it isn't going to go left let's go right looking in another direction her company has pioneered social media techniques that drive traffic and generate interest her customers include the Los Angeles Times, the New York Times, and CNN, to name a few. The most inspirational in my journey have been the people in my lives. I mean, I talk about my team at Perfect Market, and many of the people on my team I have worked with before, and I hope that I will be working with them for the rest of my career because they're that good. And in my personal life, my family, my husband, my children, they're what make it all worthwhile. And I don't think it's even worth doing uh, a, a business and an innovative business if you don't have your personal life in order. So that's what inspires me. Everything I do is part of a team. I have an incredible group that have come together in my company, Perfect Market, and I can't really take credit for all the innovation. They do that. I, what I can take credit for perhaps is creating an environment where the best comes out. And when you get the best in everybody, uh, the solutions are always better than one individual can provide. A serial entrepreneur, Julie is a founding member and CEO of three successful venture-backed startups and has raised over $100 million for her companies. Going out and raising money is a skill that you have to learn and you also have to be innovative to be able to do it. And um, so at various points in my career, uh, I've gone to traditional venture capitalists and they've said no, so I've had to come up with other ways of getting money and I learned how to get money from the U.S. government and uh, government grants. So innovation is something that helps you put your story together, helps you create your company, helps you find solutions for customers, and helps you explain that story so investors feel confident in giving you money. If you can rise above your fear, you will become more innovative, you'll become more creative, and you'll become more successful. Congratulations, Julie Schoenfeld, Innovator of the Year.
Senior Vice President and Head of Community Development for the LA Metro Region at Wells Fargo, Byron K. Reed is this year's Diversity Champion Award winner. NABO is a phenomenal organization. They do great work. And to be honored by an organization like NABO in this space, it, it, to me, it's, it's, I'm speechless. It's, it's a humbling feeling. And I consider all I'm doing is the work that I'm set forth to do. And it's sort of my passion to make sure that there's a diversity across um, all avenues of life and that folks get an opportunity to have interaction with whomever they did and desire. NABO has been a great support to my endeavor. They allow me opportunities to meet with some of their, their business uh, members. Um, that business member um, portfolio allows us opportunity, us being Wells Fargo, the opportunity to see what their financial needs might be. A graduate of the University of Oklahoma, Byron is in charge of Wells Fargo's program to provide investments and loans for community development and low-income housing. Coming from a very, very strong mothering um, background from my mother, um, I've always um, honored and respected women and that is a top priority in my life to make sure that it's level set regardless of, of the sex or orientation or what have you to make sure that people are, giving, are given a fair shot. I had a friend whose father was a banker and I was inspired by the work that he did. Um, that allowed me to see banking as a career because I had not yet identified a career at that point in time. So that inspiration that I received from my friend's father allowed me to sit here 30 years later in this banking seat, basically. Committed to giving back, he is also an active board member of the Los Angeles Neighborhood Housing Services and the Los Angeles Urban League. When I say I want to do something, I typically do it. Uh, I try to inspire and lead by example, and I inspire folks to think outside the box in order to really stretch themselves in order to, to, to be all that they possibly can be. What advice I would give to the next um, leaders, entrepreneurs, and women would be to stay steadfast to your morals and, and do not compromise. Always lead with the best example and make sure that you put forth your best effort every time because you never know who's watching you. Congratulations, Byron Reed, this year's Diversity Champion Award winner.